Alright. Oh, I gotta open the map. I hope this last quest doesn't take too long. And then I can check the... Mm, the rest of Simulacra. There's two around. Uh. I thought they all would vanish. <clears throat> Oz! Uh, though I customarily refer to you as my familiar, in truth, I. I have always seen you as. Oh. Say no more, main Fräulein. I, Osvaldo Horafnavines, hereby pledge to always stay by your side. Hmm. <laughs> Quite rightly so. The princessin should expect no less from her most favored Nachtrabin. I couldn't agree more, main Fräulein. But what does she see him as? A fatherly figure? A brother? A son? Because... I guess she created him with the vision. A lovely servant? What? Down in here? No. Lower? Oh, maybe higher? Ah! It's Noir. Okay, you're new. Uh, late house, late house. I've got you how you up so my friends can find they can find a way home. Hey, we just got to rest a bit before I do. This isn't something a human can just pull into place. I don't think he's human. It seems like you're going to need my help. Uh oh I uh, you don't look like one of our neighbors from Rickstex. A uh, rarity indeed. As Noir is the name, uh, in guarding this here far seer lighthouse is the game. It and I bid you welcome. In truth, however, you've come at the most terrible time. It was but a few scant moments ago when a monstrous dragon just ran by in a right hurry. Okay, it's been a, a few days by now. Yeah, it's good to have that. This will be the thumbnail. Clumsy and stumbling it was, and the two of us were in its wrathful path. With a crack and snap, both I and my poor lighthouse were bowed right over. And as you can see, I regained my footing, but not so the lighthouse. Oh boy, so me during knocked this lighthouse over just by passing through. I don't think it was mini at the time. I and I've tried all manner of ways to get him on his feet. Even the neighbors came to lend a hand. But he simply refused to stand back up again. You'd almost think he had a temper to throw such a tantrum. Our neighbors still have to keep an eye on that dragon, so I'm on my own for the time being. Uh, this terrible situation. Uh, with our lighthouse down for the count, we will have no light. That means no return to the village for our adventurers. Wait, what are adventurers? And where would they travel abroad? Yeah, that's more interesting. Their journeys take them to the ends of the sky. 
After all, a mere jolt over Constellation Metropole or Rainsong Pond requires no lighthouse to show the way. Does not feel like they would need a lighthouse here as well, but... And so, the adventurers brought board their little boats and set sail for where the stars set, or perhaps the other end of the rainbow. When they wish to return, this lighthouse shall be their guide. When they return, some adventurers have grown most strange, mumbling ceaselessly about value and suitability. But that doesn't stop their luggage from containing many pretty stones, beautiful art, and seeds. Wait, and what if they don't wish to return? Why, that is their prerogative. But no matter what, the radiance of the Brickstack's lighthouse shall shine upon the distant places where the stars fall. So long as they are willing, anyone may follow the light back to our village at any time. Oh, where the stars fall, that's almost sounds like you're trying to go explore beyond this world. So that's, uh, you know, what's with the frown? I wonder what becomes of them once they depart. I'm no adventurer, so I know not. Well, but many come back, so this should be fine. Were Rosa still here, you could have asked him. He is the boldest, most inquisitive of, of our adventurers. By dint of the windmill mounted on the, his ship, he sojourns to places most distant each time, to lanes where even the light may fail, and yet he always returns. According to the plan, he has. No, according to the plan, he as he related it to me. He should have already returned several days ago. Uh, I fear he may have utterly lost his way, like many other wayfaring neighbors. Alright, I've rested enough. Now it's time to get our lighthouse back on its feet to shine once more. Our adventurers await the, its guiding radiance to bring them home after all. Dear guests, could I please seek your aid in getting our lighthouse back on its feet? The way his light can shine further still, that it may be seen by more of our adventurers. Don't worry, I'll get it done right this instant. How? I'm just gonna check out the environs a bit first. Don't mind me? No. Let's do it. Mm, are you sure about that? Paimon's not that strong, so she'll cheer for you while you're at it. Well, he actually, he actually should canonly be that strong, but I doubt we'll be able to do anything. Mm -mm, does seem a right pickle, doesn't it? Why don't you put your, our heads together and think of something? How about we tear it brick by brick and rebuild it from scratch? No, no, the hook that hung the lamp up has been knocked loose. Just one moment of carelessness. Who knows, it could send the lamp rolling down. Hmm. So, what am I supposed to do? How about we turn it No? Okay, so let's try to get that lamp. Ah! Lift as hard as I can. <laughs> Spy Motor so you all. You settle into a steady stance and tighten up your core. Both hands grabbing onto the section of the top old lighthouse best suited for gripping. Adjust the distance, breathe in, stick out your chest, put your strength into your shoulders. Wait, should it be your shoulders or your back? No, lift with your back. Well, whatever the case, time to put your back and your shoulders into it. Hey, if you hold, Simon comforts you when the lighthouse looks so. You let go for now. Just think of something else already, would you? Push hard. So you want to firmly support the lighthouse with your shoulder, blend your feet firmly and heave a hole. Uh, the top of tower salutes you stoically and statically with its weighty body. If nothing else, you courageously confronted this strategy. Have a whole help. The lighthouse lies resolutely on the ground, silently extending its beneficence to you. 
and the whole ah, a dull crack sounds from near your hip, and you fall to the floor. It is only after lengthy and gentle ministrations on Paimon's part that you are again able to rise. Let's just think of some other way to do this. I uh, thought I had to uh, remove that so it doesn't risk falling. Try to touch. Well, the lamp really came off. It, it isn't broken now, is it? Oh no, Paimon, it's still glowing. Here, Paimon, catch. Uh, what? Wait, the first thing is you now Paimon won't stop us both from getting scolded. Oh, uh, what do we do now? Oh, wait a minute, why is this lamp still shiny, even after being removed? So the reason the lighthouse shone so brightly is that there was a super bright light hanging in the lighthouse. That said, aren't light sources usually super complex mechanisms? Mm, uh, that's not important since this one can be removed normally. Uh, that works for us. As I mentioned earlier, that he needs to get the lighthouse standing back up again because he wants to put light some place high so more people can see it in that case let's just hang it up somewhere high right now yeah but now he's free to tear it down brick by brick huh, that's what i was thinking you know wouldn't everyone be able to see if you just hang it up in the sky uh, if only there were hooks in the sky to hang it on Perhaps if we find a high altitude floating island. I thought we would go to the train on the, in the sky. It's just like when we hung up stars in Navia. It's just a shame that we don't have the area express with us this time. We can't get back there. Uh, that's not a bad idea at all. Uh, uh, hey, it's not, we didn't break anything, did we? Look, the lamp's still glowing. It doesn't look broken. Why, well, certainly, if it glows still, it fits the bill. And indeed, you spoke true earlier as well. If we could find a place higher than the lighthouse upon which to mount this lamp, then its light would be all the clearer to see from further away. Uh, as it happens, I do know of an island, the highest point in the area. Rosal taught me how to survey elevation. And I've already estimated the elevation of all the nearby isles in his absence. You know, to pass the time. Doesn't we just have to look up to see which one's higher? If we hung the lamp up there, the light would be visible from far, from far away for sure. There should be enough to allow adventurers to find their way back home. Well, there we go, a solution to our problem. It's like we're pretty bright sparks ourselves, huh? Yeah, no way a simple problem like this could stump us. That said, this Rosal guy sure knows a lot. Of course, Rosal is the bravest, most inquisitive adventurer we have. Not only has he traveled the length and breadth of the world, but he has traveled still further beyond our world, on his windmill ship. He often ranges far abroad indeed, even to places where the lamp, lamp light fails to touch. But he's told me that no matter how weak the lamp light, lamp's light is, he always knows where the lighthouse is and can follow it back to the village. But now the lighthouse has collapsed and the lamp's light has fallen beneath the horizon. Let's go have a look at this island, shall we? Let's hang this lamp up high, shall we? I would love to go, but I must stay keep watch over the lighthouse, for it is the first place adventurers come upon returning to the village. Yes, it has collapsed, but I must do all I can to sort things out here. I can allow him to receive our returnees all by his land song. And then there's Rosel, he has been drifting so far from home for so long, I absolutely must give him a hug the moment he returns. So please, three guests, could you help me hang up the lamp at uh, the highest point possible? I have some savings. Your deed shall not go unrewarded. Rosa's that awesome, huh? 
Of course, he will not sit around and wait for that. His heart is far too stout for that. Even should the lamp's light fail utterly, he would drive onward and forward with the windmill, seeking higher, seeking theater and theater for the way back to our village. So please help me, dear guests, and Rosal too. Uh, at this point, we're not going to say no. Thank you, thank you, my gratitude, and more, on behalf of my lighthouse and Rosal too. I shall be waiting for him and for you. Oh. Ah, okay, let me open the map here because there's a few for me to collect already. Uh, you guys just looking at the fungi and I'm gonna murder them just like that. Can I just oh, a giant block? With mace electricity, leaning on or jumping from an uh, elastic surface will let you fly to higher positions. I use those. Unsolicited. Okay, and we're all cool. the more valuable for it. I have to want to fight them, but they're just chilling there, so I'll leave them. Yeah, I'll leave them. Could give me some momentum so I don't have to keep opening that. Uh, 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 that's probably some question stuff. Anyone give me a push? Oh, hang on, I got a question. I'll clear things afterwards. Hmm. Well, stairs. No. And lost momentum. Oh, uh, how do I? Ah, <laughs> okay. Of bounty. There's how you know to look about, you know, there's three over there, it's like perfect for hanging out. There's someone under each, could it be a person assigned to take care of the tree? Let's go ask. Panuel. Chauvin. Uh, why are you angry? Perhaps you, sh you really shouldn't have ventured outside. Uh, hello there. Did you plant this tree? We like to, we like to decorate it a bit. We like to hang a lamp on this tree. They should say, hang a lamp on it. A lamp? 
Well, putting one up would be nice. Some warm light might do Shaolin's mood some good. Might even put us on speaking terms again. Please do lay us a hand then. And if I may lend you one in return, just say the word and it shall be so. Nice. Smooth sailing so far, huh? Come on. Let's get in this let's get this lane <laughs> hung up. But what's up with this shoving? You mean to climb the this tree? Well be careful then. Stepping on those smashed stone fragments after falling out uh, of it would be quite unpleasant. That will be the middle of the leaves. Oh. Hmm. That should do it. The light should be should shine far and wide now. Uh, not that anything hap anything's happened yet. Okay, so what do we do now? We wait, of course. Maybe those ventures have seen the light already and are on the way back as we speak. Hmm, nothing's happened. Not a person has returned. I would assume that this will take a while. Hello, you two. Do not disturb you. Not to disturb you or anything. But what? Are, uh, what were you intending to do by hanging a lamp up high, up again? Well, long story short, you tell Penwell what happened. I see. I heard about the issue with Esnoir and. The lighthouse as well and this idea is a good one however perhaps you could hang it up still higher i will fly the lamp way up would you well and how long is i supposed to stay up there huh we don't even know what the ideal elevation is it's not like we can take measurements every few meters or something uh if only the war if only there really was a hook in the sky for us to hang the lamp on. Hanging the lamp up in the sky. That could perhaps be possible. See? Told you there was a way. So, is there such a place to hang the lamp? Please, let me finish. This idea of mine may not actually work. The Whispering Isle is not far from here. If a gift is offered unto the goddess on that island, she shall she will grant a supplicant supplica their wish. Ah, the other statues there. Oh, that's some island. Righto. So let's take this lamp over to the Whispering Isle and see what the deal is. That said, I do not know if that goddess is, is still king her our wishes. I've been to the island to offer gifts, but my wishes were not granted. Perhaps something's gone wrong somewhere. Uh, what did you wish for? My wish was a simple one, to be friends with Chauvin forever. We used to live together, live here together, taking care of this tree, drinking tea and chatting. He once set off on a long journey, and when he returned, he was almost unrecognizable. Not that it should have mattered, we were still friends, I thought. We would understand one another. But he grew stranger and stranger. His days filled with odd mumblings and melancholy. He even rejected all my tea party invitations. I feared that he might no longer want to be my friend, so I made plans to go to the Whispering Isle and make a wish to the goddess. The oldest legend in our village says that originally the goddess greatly favored the brave. So long as a valiant person were to bring her a gift as proof of their courage, she would respond to them. But I fear that she would not best know her favor upon me, so I brought a dragon scale with me. Uh, do you know about the giant dragon that suddenly emerged from the titanium mines? 
They flattened a great many homes and even mashed the mountain. Now our adventurers can no longer repair their boats or make their make tools there. They have had to change from whence they embark on their adventures. The mountain just over there, but nowadays he's he's a broken as a broken sea itself. We've constantly tried to chase that dragon away and defend our village. Whenever he flew above our village, we would grab chairs, tables, forks, and spoons with which to chase it away. Seems as if he will succeed thus far. We should prepare a few antithesis ourselves. Well, whatever the case may be, at least the dragon hasn't come back to set fire to the village or roll over it or anything like that. If there is no evil dragon, he just wants to be friends with everyone. Is that so? In that case, his way of showing it is most unexpected. Well, we couldn't understand what he was saying at the time anyway. So all we could do was chase him off. When he left, he left behind the scale. I believed that it could prove my courage. And my neighbors thought so too. And when I put the scale before the statue of the goddess, it began to glow with an awesome light. Uh, I thought that this meant the goddess acknowledged my wish and was about to grant it. But Shovin did not change, he still refused to come out of the pot. And he remains as upset as ever. He even advised me to become an adventurer and go on a long journey with him. No way I'm doing that. Wait, come out of what pot now? Uh, it almost sounds like he's some sort of potted flower. That was a joke? Uh, that's right, Shovin's presently a flower in a pot. I mean... Okay, that was literal. That's pretty alright, isn't it? He can live next to the tree and I can take care of him, water him, drink tea and sing for him. But he always says that no matter where he goes, he must be sure of his place. Something he learned from his venturing. And the pot is his place. Coax and Cahol as I might, I can get him out of the pot. The goddess didn't make my wish come true and I don't know what the matter is. Uh, sorry for going on and on like that, must have taken up quite a bit of your time here there. Yeah. The whispering Iowa is the way, perhaps the goddess will be more willing to hear your wish. Well, oh, where's him? How do you make friends something like that anyway? Let's ask him when we have some time. Just what is Shaolin thinking? He doesn't even want to talk to me about Shaolin. Uh, hello there, I'm really sorry but it's Shaolin, he's still angry at me and refused to come out and speak with me. But the wind and sunlight can reach him down there. What if he withers? What then? Where is him? I thought he was next to the tree you said. Since we are talking about a pot of flower, we can just scope him up. I tried, but as long as Shelvin is upset, I can't even get close. He's in such a stormy mood that I nearly got blown away. Oh, he's a uh, righteous vine. Wait, how can being angry blow someone away? That's pretty stormy, alright? That will make it hard to get close, yes. Maybe the reason he's so furious with me is because I refused to venture out with him before. Please, dear guest, I can can I trouble you to check on Shelvin? Perhaps you might even be able to reason with him. No problem, we'll give it a try. Is that another quest? There's some marks on the map. Yeah, we've traveled to so many places and seen so many people. We we'll, we we'll definitely probably be able to convince him. That's wonderful, you can find him in the cavern below this island, please, if you head away, I, I must tidy up the place, this place and find a good place for shoving to soak up the sun. Oh, there's... 
that's the spot for heal. Let's set up the place. Did the metal persuade show in your hands, I guess. If we were to see him, he would surely think me clingy and become even more tempestuous. Um, well, let's sidetrack. This is kind of a quest, anyway. That doesn't really seem very necessary. But it's ah okay. I was expecting a righteous way. It's so strong, so that's what he meant by stormy mood. Calm down. We have something to tell you. Hey, the wind's finally stopped. Listen to us, please. Panel has something he'd like to tell you. Fine, I'll listen to what you have to say, but before that, look how shocked the two of you are. I'm sure you're dying to ask, how can a flower speak? Or perhaps, how did you turn into a potted flower? Do people usually ask that? I don't imagine he talks to many people. Outside, yes, many. After we return home, no, nobody has asked. By outside, do you mean outside this world? I heard that you only became like this after venturing. Well, well, look who's so well informed. I suppose Penwell has, must have told you. That's correct. I became like this while I was venturing. <laughs> to borrow a phrase from the Rosal, this was the change I chose to make. Paimon gets changed, but why change into a potted flower? Could it be because you really, really like plants? You, your dream is to become a botanist. Like plants? No, I just wanted to find my place. I met many people outside this world. Some were chefs, other florists, or others teachers. Almost everyone had found a place that made them feel at ease. That was how they all managed to establish themselves in life. And me, all I could do was venture. I had never thought of finding a stable place for myself. This flower pot is your place. This isn't a pot. Exactly, you catch on quick. As a flower in a pot, I'll always have a place that puts me at ease. But. Since I got myself a pot and a place that belongs to me, why do I still want to go out venturing? I'm a venturer after all. Without venturing, is there anything else of value I can do? I don't get it. The more of the outside world I see, the less I understand between having a place and venturing, which is more important. Uh, the more I think about it, the more my head hurts. And when I talk with Penwell, I always duck his questions. I'm afraid of misleading him, and if he loved venturing, wouldn't he grow to hate it after seeing me like this? He's my friend and always will be. I must be honest with him, and I have answered all that he has asked. Including that the reason I became a flower is so that I could have a place that made me feel at ease. Perhaps my answer upset him. Or perhaps it's because he doesn't like the way I am now. We're growing apart, but, I, I, but as I am but a potted plant, I cannot go up myself. Then why were you not letting him get in? But it's probably for the best, I'm sure. Pero doesn't want to see me anyway. He must be angry with me. So that's what's going on. You both think the other one is angry with you, and so they aren't willing to meet. What? You mean Panel isn't mad at me? You two are thinking the exact same thing? He actually thinks you're the one who's angry at him. You tell Chauvin about everything Panel is thinking. The sky's above. How could I ever think such a thing? I have never wanted to see him upset. 
and even should the corners of his lip twitch downwards, my heart should be utterly shattered. Dear guests, must, I must ask you to bring me up. I beg of you. I must see him with all haste. I cannot wait another minute. No, not even another second. I was waiting for to say that, my potted friend. But I was thinking. I was waiting for it too. Off we go. It's not a place I should be right now. Yeah, why can't I just place you around? Don't I just have to go up? <coughs> Tovin, you've come. Please listen to me. I never been mad at you and you never wanted to I never wanted to leave you. I was only worried that you didn't want to be friends with me. I know that some ventures change and I was worried you had to. I prayed to the goddess but but I couldn't find a good enough gift to offer. So she naturally ignored me. No, Pedro, such a thing could never happen. I will always, always be your friend. I must apologize to you. I was so focused on my own thoughts and fa that I failed to listen to what you were saying. I assumed I assumed you never wanted to see me again. Since we've cleared up this misunderstanding. Yeah, I finally thought you, you two had some crazy sticking point and were so super mad you didn't even want to try to understand each other. It definitely was a sticky matter, but at least uh, it's come unstuck now. Thank you both, my dear guests. Without you, I'd definitely still be holed up in there, refusing to come out. But now I can finally share what's in my heart with Pop Final World. I am always willing to listen to whatever you have to say, Chauvin. Uh, where you wish to speak of entering or of flower pots, it's all fine by me. Right, dear guests, please take this. I gathered them specifically for you. May the goddess bless you and you may never argue with your friends and that someone will always be willing to listen to you, your innermost thoughts. What greater pleasure is there than the unexpected? Let me talk to you guys again. Okay, so... Just right there. This should be the Whispering Isle, I guess that should seem to represent the goddess, huh? You know, if I'm to here, let's look around. Let's see. Uh, yeah, they all look the same. Just for sure. Take that. Huh. Switch statue. Present. Present you now your armor is strong that guards your hearts lest it grow it go wrong. This should be the drama that the panel used to wish. Then it can be retrieved. Seems like he really did make a wish. Uh, nope, it's no use. The scale won't come off. Guess the goddess liked the gift after all. <laughs> uh, 
over here your weapon bright dispel the dense days as light as night hmm. what greater pleasure is there than the unexpected Is that Alice? <laughs> well, let's follow that path there. Something with which to commemorate this occasion. Uh. Okay, this isn't really marked in the right spot, I guess, in the map. Uh, there was another. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Elegant statue, here make the wish you hold dear, and the reasons for your prayer must you must make clear. What about the weapon? Uh, three statues, it looks like we're gonna have to offer them two more gifts. But what should we offer? Paimon has a clue. Any thoughts? Uh, if we should relate to the wish, we should offer the lamp. The lamp. Did we get that back? That makes sense. As no wish is to see his lamp hung, uh, hung high for all to see, right? Uh, now that just about clears armor, but we don't have a clue where to begin with weapons. It could be a sword, a pole arm. There's way too many options. Let me fish out all my weapons from my backpack first. Perhaps the two gifts we need have to do with the dragon. That makes sense. Pharaoh's dragon skill must have been the armor. That means the weapon must have something to do with dragons. And that might be true enough, but why don't go talk this one out with me dirty? He's still around. I thought I had the left this place. Let's head over to the mountain, the dragon is right first, shall we? No, let's sit in there. Uh, probably things are better not. What are you going to say anyway? Oh, could you spare some scales or horn, pretty please? That just doesn't seem very polite. No, but he may have lost a claw somewhere sometime. Yeah. We're not doing anything sitting around here and thinking. Peril said that the dragon crashed in the mountain and smashed it, right? If we're lucky, we might find some draconic bits and bobs, teeth, horns, or maybe some other stuff like that. Oh, now those sure sound like weapons. Right, let's go then. Let's hope the mountain isn't as broken as he said. That said, Whispering Isle is pretty big, huh? The three gods, goddess statues up there are huge too. If this was an ordinary adventure story, there would be mysterious treasures hidden under the statues or something. Uh, on the note, I think we should take a closer look around. You never know when we'll find something nice. Got no problem taking a little stroll. The gods probably won't mind, will she? And just be careful, see instead of touch, much less break. It's settled then, as to where we are going to treasure hunting or weapon finding first, well that's up to you. Well, I'll have to come back here anyway, so... Let's find that. I have to return to this island to make the wish. Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see. 
Uh -huh, this fish is huge, right? If we must have hurt the dragon a lot. Let's look around, but I'm sure I'll find something. That certainly can be. There are many stores like that. Uh, happens to look for weapons. Let's try to find a way to grab it. Cool. Try again. Give it your all. I will have order. Let's let him throw. Uh, the source came pull out. Let's have a look around. Maybe find some clues. Oh, I just continues. Okay, you guys weren't here. How about the sword? Oh! Just had to ask you guys. And sword came out. Guess we got those coffers, I think. Huh? This sure is a mysterious place, but either way, we got the sword, so all is well. Pardon the sword. In I must say this feels more like a horn. I don't know. It doesn't really look like horn. A horn? You mean like one from the dragon? Uh, it's got a dragon's armor. Then we could consider it horns its weapon. Uh, now that we found any other clues anyway. Let's go back and offer it to that goddess. And then we just gotta hope that she likes our gifts. Greater pleasure is there than the unexpected. Thank you. Supposed to offer the weapon there. Offer weapon. A dragon horn that resembles a sword. It seems to have once belonged to a reckless dragon. Huh? And then I have to. Then I take the. Okay, I, I think I got it back. <laughs> oh. Bricks stacks long range lane. The lane that was hung in the start. Bricks stacks lighthouse. It shines brightly still despite having been removed.
Hmm. But it's not as high as you was before. Hmm. Oh. But we came back to the island. I was going to get the chest that were here. No. Oh, it's good to see you. I knew I could trust you. And the light that you shown my way. I give you my word, dear friend, and now you're back. As for the light, however, you have our two guests to thank. Sky's above, was, that was you then? I thought you had been stranded on the island when I saw you on my return trip. Which is why I invited you on board. Words fail to describe how thankful I am to you. Had that radiance not reached my ship, I'm sure I would have been utterly lost at sea. Also, what happened to your, your lighthouse, Esnoir? What happened to this place? What exactly did I miss? Esnoir gesticulates wildly as he explains the events that transpired to Roselle. A dragon crashed into the village, and another into the waterfall behind it. No, this, the same dragon. There really is a lot. I'm going to have to ask you to give me the, all the details when you've got the time. Now, I have time right now. Uh, I have time anytime, in fact. I managed to clean up a little uh, area where we can have some tea and cakes. And enjoy the fragrance of flowers while we're at it. Really, then there will be no problem at all. In fact, I've been looking forward to this. I'll show you the new samples I've collected too. You will not believe all the different types of flowers and bugs I've encountered. It's just a shame that my bag's so small. I shall bring a larger one next time for sure. Next time, you'll leave again, I presume? Do not worry, our time together is lengthy still. As no, the time we have now is more than sufficient for me to tell you about all the new things I've seen. I assure you. Are you going back on venturing? Yes, I am a venturer. To venture is my calling. Don't go, Rosel. Have you not noticed how some of your colleagues become strange when they return? They fret about the value of carpets and hats, but not at all about which more beautiful or intricately but not at all about which is more beautiful or intricately made. Don't be angry, Esnora. We can speak about this later. I brought you a uh, flower seeds from outside. Ones which with contours and colors I'm sure you've never seen before. And yes, dear guests, you two should take some of these marvelous new gifts I obtained from outside. Consider them a token of my gratitude. Thank you for lighting the way for my ship and also for taking care of Esnora. Now that the light illuminates the way, I am sure the other adventurers will also be returning uh, to the village. I hope they can rest well. After all, there are all far, there are there are all many far off places that await their exploration still. No matter how many times you ask, Roselle, I will not go out venturing with you. You are my friend, yes, and uh, that will never change. I do not dislike you, but I do not enjoy traveling. It is, not, it is nowhere near as frightening as you imagine. It's just a trip, that's all. The outside world plays host to many flowers that cannot be found in our village, and many people we've never met. Even the shapes of the clouds are different there. I didn't notice the clouds here are squarish too. 
Remember the seed I brought from the outside? I can guarantee that you've never seen a flower with its shape or color before. It's still a seed now. I'll plant it and then I'll see. If you're willing to go with me, we might be able to see this flower with your own eyes. Rosel, I'm sorry, I have no wish to travel abroad, nor do I want to become like those venturers. They always fret about the value of carpets and paint on my two beautiful hats. This is how your travels change you, and it scares me. That is true, but I have not I have noticed the maps, the plain samples, and the travel logs that fill their luggage to bursting. We surge through different bushes and shrubs like a gust of wind, like rivers passing through another lake. We encounter different things and we too become different people. This is how travel changes you, and it scares me too, but I am thankful for those changes as well. I compare to a slice of bread with cream layered on both sides. You're going to make a mess no matter how carefully you try to hold it. In that case, I spread the cream on separately. That way I can even smell different flavors. Not a bad call, I'm sure it'll be a filling meal. Not a bad idea, that should keep your hands clean. Uh, uh, it's you, here at last. Rosel has been telling me how wonderful the outside world is, inviting me along to venture. Do you know much of the world? Is it as he says it is? Mm. The, the, the yellow, is that an actual impact on what he will do? Yes, it is. In the outside world, there's no lack of new things to discover. The world inside isn't too bad. Outside. Right, there's lots of lots to eat and many fun things to do. And you even get to encounter many interesting things and also people. For example, you'll find those who focus on beautiful essence of, of things. You bear witness to radiant, unfading ideals. You get to meet those who work hard to realize their dreams. Those were more beautiful. Really, dear me, I believe the outside world to only be conscious of value and to be full of those who wish to wear hats, but they're not. Uh, well, you can think of it like a cake with various chocolates scattered on top. Every bite is a whole new experience. That's way better than have all the shocks taste the same, because that, that will make for super ordinary cake, right? Well said, Paimon, well said. You've mastered the local lingo, I see. Well, who wouldn't want to, li to wouldn't want, who wouldn't after listening to, to it for this long? Is that so? Well, uh, I'll need more time to think about this, but perhaps a little just a little venturing couldn't hurt, surely. No need to rush th into things, Ezra. There's too much time for my next voyage. Until then, let us consider this issue together. Hmm, Rosal, maybe I can go with you, but it's just. I just don't know where to even begin preparing. That's easy. Prepare your gem, bread, and curiosity. Put on some comfortable clothes and bring a spare set as well. Finally, prepare yourself because you might have to throw some of those things out along the way. Oh, it all sounds so complicated. And I don't want to throw them away because they're mine, they're precious, and I like them. And you discover new precious things after you those leave you, my dear Ezra. Believe me, this will be a fascinating journey. Okay. Uh, I thought they would be having uh, tea or something. All right, all right. So that was the first squirrel thing. Uh, navigate. Can you just teleport me? Okay. So now let's do those 
quests, challenges. Uh, uh, uh. That would be here. Yeah, worth story, the first one, done. No, no, no. Uh, the second one is what I am doing, right? What could the children be up to? Hm, never mind. Let them do as they please. Explosive targets may appear along the streaming currents and they will detonate when hit. Uh, this can help quickly destroy targets within a certain area. Shot enhancements may appear along the streaming currents. When you pick them up, you can increase the rate of fire speed shots. It can you will not consume energy when shooting what buffed. Let's try again. Was that an arrow? Yeah, it was. It's weird. I should have an aim, okay? be able to properly aim at stuff. Have a crosshair there. Okay, complete. Oh yeah, there's those statues still for me to get. I didn't get that one still. Uh, I don't know the height of the island. Let's jump from there. Not actually too higher. Oh, uh, oh, uh, that has to jump from that one, do that has to jump from there. Oh no, there will be a path there. Okay. 
they would take him back to where I was, okay. I hope I'll have to jump down from the train. Ray up there. Ah oh, no, here, yeah. Alright. Ah, this kind of aims me towards the next one. Oh. Okay, that wasn't huh. my intention. Something with which to commemorate this occasion. Uh, the map. The map. Okay. Grab that first. Welcome back, my fine neighbors. There's a seed I mentioned before. Look here, I brought flower. Flowers I brought back. It's so bright, I can't even open my eyes. I dare say that the light shine brightest this time. Oh, yeah, no, I want to see. Uh, they don't really have clouds over here. I don't think those are clouds. Oh no, they have clouds down there. Yeah, they aren't that different from the clouds on the outside world. Oh, what's that? Oh, come on. Seriously. Start. There's no proper aim. I have no idea where I'm actually shooting most of the time. Select next. 
Why can't I go to next year? Uh, was he here before? I don't think he was there. Damn it. Just let me go back to... The others. Yeah, if I was here, I had that. Okay, I don't think he was there. Uh, so I had her. Oh, okay, I probably have to talk to somebody first. I had to talk to the squirrel first. Oh, that they didn't like to grab it during the cutscene. It must be Enos, in which case, the one by your side must be your companion, Miss Paimon. <laughs> right, one, that's us. We're that famous, are we? We stand out here. News travels quickly to, from, and through Constellation Metropole. I must say that you're right on time. I was just putting the finishing touches on this game of mine, named Flying Hats. I I can be I can be like the eponymous hatter in the flying hatter who gave everyone a lovely hat I fear but I believe that flying hats will bring joy to those who play it I've also designed three completely different gameplay modes for it don't worry don't worry the rules aren't too complicated you figure it out after just one game I guarantee it I'll give it a try. Alrighty, righty then. Uh, this way, please. Uh, just a second. Uh, there are three game modes in Flying Hatter's Trick, with, uh, with each having different scoring rules, with blue reticles marking targets that can be attracted. Use this marvelous flying hat to score as many points as you can. Oh, so, uh, would you like to play some flying hats? You are more than welcome to. About the flying hatter, interesting in this tale, are you? Huh? I'll go over with you, over it with you. It's not too long a tale. So, uh, so our tale begins with a masterful hatter. This maker of hats made the very best ones in the world, and each day there will be a stupendous crowd outside his door. Still, he will make each hat properly and beautiful. Some said that he had even once been commissioned by a goddess to make ten beautiful hats of different styles. To thank him for his craftsmanship, she offered him to grant him a wish. But the headmaker said that he did not have any unfulfilled wishes. He loved what he did, making hats, and everyone loved the hats he made. And that was enough for him. The goddess acknowledged his noble answer, but also said that her promise would remain valid. Should he ever be willing to make a wish, she would be ready to grant it immediately. Keep listening. But before the hatter had thought of something he truly wanted fulfilled, soldiers in the employ of a noble suddenly came knocking at his door. Our lord orders you to make him the best hat, a soldier said in an overbearing tone. Sure, I'll have it delivered to him once it is done, but before that I have to... No, from now on, you shall only make hats for our lord. Our soldier... The soldier cut him off. The cold light glinted off their blades and spears, and he had no choice but to live with them. He was just making hats for gods, goddesses, and now and can some lord just take him away? At the palace, the noble welcomed him warmly, even throwing him a grand banquet. Come then, make me the best hats. Should not the most powerful of people have the loveliest of hats? Huh. The nobleman laughed loudly, but the headmaker could not bring himself to eat a single bite. 
keep listening. He knew then that he could never again leave the palace. He had heard of this noble's deeds. He was stingy and loved to plunder, seizing and hoarding, consuming his every walking thought. But he was no heroic thief or great mage. He was simply a hatter, and hats could not help him deceive the guards nor vault the towering walls. And at the moment, the agreed hatter remembered the goddess's promise, and realized that it might, uh, it might be his lifeline. And so he pushed the window open and prayed in silence. Dear goddess, please help me escape from this cage. There are still so many out there waiting for me to make nice hats for them. I want to be free to make hats for everyone. That's my wish. In the instant after he finished his wish, the hat in his hand leaped into the air, suddenly fastening itself to his head. His whole bo body floated up with the hat and was scared out the window, soaring high over the stunned guards and over the heavily guarded walls. A ring of arrows pursued him, but they were turned aside gently by the wind. The flabbergasted guards could only watch as the headmaker flew away from the maze. After that, none would again see the headmaker in the city. His head shop was demolished by the frustrated aristocrat. But the headmaker's good neighbors knew that he was still working to make his hats for the people. If one wanted to order a hat from him, you had to, you had to do so after midnight writing your request on the bark of a tree using jam before placing the bark in the payment for the hat in the highest chimney. Within a week, a beautiful hat bearing the scent of green grass would appear on your windowsill. And that was how everyone came to call him the Flying Hatter. The ending was a bit weird and unexpected. How did people figure out that method of payment. Mm, like Glimmer, the small flying hat can attract up to one tie figure at once. Continue to attract tie figures within a lot of time to build up your combo. The higher your combo, the more points you get. Attracting explosive barrel, failing to attract any tie figure will zero out your combo. Attracting explosive barrels will also deduct points from your score. In the I like glimmer mode, the flying head he attracts from the figure. That's what I just read. Here you lose. Uh, okay. Uh, how? Ah, I'm abducting people. Oh. Okay, I lost the combo. Okay, kind of sucks that I lost that combo back there. Oh, damage. It stopped. I just grab as many as I can the time they never stop. Okay. Uh I didn't pay attention was that as good as I could. Two thousand points. Uh okay. Two twenty-four forty. 
Okay, attracts up to four figures at once. Each time they attract two, three, four, uh, the same color. Once you earn different amounts of bonus points. Uh, have 15 changed this attack to five figures after all times have been used. The game will end. Ah, okay. So, no time now. Goodly gathering mode. Uh, okay. No, ah, ah, can I? I can cancel. No, 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 I want to start again. Yeah, the previous one was based on time, but this one. I can do perfectly. Puzzling identity. This mode, every stage has four rounds. When which begins, the clothes of the toy figures will be briefly displayed before the and the items will be covered by the gift boxes. Uh, during each round, after attraction in all toy figures, the same clothes, you earn a certain amount of point, most points. Sure. Damage. I'm not sure if there was one here or not. That's complicated. Now I'm a bit unsure. I think it was this. No, 
was this one? Oh. Okay, four. Making a V. Alright. This one is easier. Good enough. There's no point in trying to do better. Alright, so they were all here. Uh, the next one. That was all. It had nothing to do with her, actually. I thought it would. So I don't expect to meet her as well. Oh no, yeah, it makes sense actually. Oh, this one, like, why can't I teleport to this one and not the others? Um, The first one, ah, oh, it's a domain. The first one wasn't about uh, Nilo as well. Welcome to the Constellation Metropole, Inus, Paimon. My colleagues have appraised me of your names and deeds and have confirmed that you are valid indeed. Were I not in charge of training the guards, I should have liked to spar with you. So you're a guard yourself then? Do we have to ask? In sooth I am. On the orders of our leech, we are to defend Constellation Metropole and keep the peace. My work specifically is to train the guards uh, that their skills may prove worthy of their duty. So the door behind leads to the training grounds. King Knight, indeed. Uh, it leads to a domain that we just finished remodeling. This we should have a... Do we need a domain here? We could just have an area where we fight. Within those grounds, the trainee must swing their blade to a specific region. And the arena's lining will constantly change throughout the battle. That sounds like some pretty rigorous training. No. Sounds complicated, more like. Uh, do you have to follow that specific rhythm while fighting as well? This part of the rhythm is actually derived from a story title, The Owl Musician. It was popular amongst the guards some time back, and many enjoyed it to the point where they forget to take part in training, and their daily patrols were delayed. But I had a thought, since everyone liked it so much, adding elements of the story into our training will make it more enjoyable. It has had a visible effect on training, if nothing else, there have been no further delays in our patrols due to personal reasons. <laughs> uh, would the two of you be interested in said training? The challenges within should be a piece of cake for those with valor such as yours. I'd like to give it a try. Such commendable courage. Uh, excellent. Please, then step into the domain. Oh. Oh. Uh, just by the look of it, I know enjoy. <laughs> Let's see the rules. Uh, the Metropole Trials. You will have to form two teams to compete to stages combat. Like the Abyss. For each different character, there is the, there is in the party you gain one valor. Valor is jointly contributed by both parties. When your valor is greater or equal than six, the combat buffs gained after entering a a time of or valor are greatly enhanced. If your opponent is to fill the valor bar, completely filling the bar starts a time of valor, granting significant combat buffs to the team. The state will reign after time, and defeating opponents while we eat will get grant extra points. Defeating opponents during a time of valor will not continue to fill the valor bar. Hmm, are you ready to try your training? Go. Oh. Are ready to try our training? Uh, about the Owl Musician. Ah, interesting the story as well. Allow me to give you a quick summary then. 
the story tells of a kingdom locked in a battle against strange monsters. To forgive me for skipping over most of the combat abilities, magical effects and so on, the first third of the story is all about describing the special abilities of each guard in some detail, which, come to think of it, is probably why it was so popular among the troops. In the second half, the monsters used their last resort, corroding the kingdom using a dark knight uh, before attacking through the, the darkness. The guards were forced to back to their final bastion, the palace interior, but the world outside was being eroded by the devouring darkness. Even the palace lamps were gradually extinguished. As the final light went out, everyone readied themselves for the final battle, resolving to fight to the end, come, come what may. Keep listening. Uh, suddenly, the sound of flapping wings soared through the palace, and a flight of owls swooped in through the window. They were the friends of the palace musician, and when the monsters invaded, the musician knew that the palace would become a battleground, and so had sent those owls away to the forest, and now they had returned. These warriors, who could see through the darkness, uh, circled throughout the palace, uh, using their hoots to alert the musician to the places where the enemies lurked. The musician sat before their organ, organ uh, a great instrument that had played during countless balls, and which was perfect not to send its music through every last corner of the palace. The palace soldiers lifted up their hearts and soared amidst the great swell of, of the organ for they knew where they should swing. That doesn't really explain how, but okay. They... He can control where this sound comes from. The musician played, pausing periodically to hearken to the owl's observations, while the soldiers would form defensive formations during those brief pauses. Thus were the monsters repelled as the warriors used the palace as their fortress, driving them out through the darkness under the guidance of the owls and the musician. At last, peace was restored to the palace, and the music that guided the warriors into battle became widespread. And that's how the story ends. The others had three, why this one has four? Oh, multiplier. Uh, those take a while to die. Phase two, okay, Sean Lee. Phase one, cry, okay, so Pyro will be here. Uh, challenge. Points okay, five thousand. So I'll need a pyro here. Uh, uh, uh. No, that's not what I wanted. Change details. Let me see again. Shoot wall, blazing axe, ice shield. Um, let's take you. Why not? Uh, I don't know. I don't really care about anybody else here. Uh, let's take you. Uh, 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 uh. Let's take some pyro. Actually, actually, I think he should be better equipped now. Um, John Lee. And since I have him, let's have explosions to break the uh, statue's armor. Uh, I just read those. Yeah. 
everlasting as the moon. Your evil looks shoot on sight. Think you can get away? Here we go. I'll uproot you. Late bear. Time for takeoff. Witness my Transfixed. Time to testify. I hear everything. One with the force. Think you can get away? Overruled. I'll uproot you! This is where you fall. Laid bare. Hunt them down. Time for takeoff. And shroud. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Ready. Yahoo! Witness my lies. Overruled. <laughs> Time to testify. Into the shadows. Think you can get away? <laughs> okay, I didn't pay attention to how many points I had. I don't know if I'm just doing well enough. And I can't see it before I enter the fight. Order guide you. Okay, I think what's good enough. Illusion shattered. Clouds high. The birds call. Time to go. I will have order. Shine down. Solidify. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. There is no escape. Shine down. Retribution. This is order. There's enough time. Gather. As one with wind and cloud. Solidify. I will have order. Illusion shattered. Gather. Oh, come on. Adorn my night. Order guide you. That won't be enough. Ooh. Okay, that was close. Okay, so that was good enough. Okay, okay. Hmm. Maybe hide up there. Him, you, no, mm. no, that's okay. Uh, let's have you and her. Maybe, yeah. Let's see. Now those two. Nobody touches me, and you. No, I should have swapped those. Less was. 
let's see. Actually, yeah. There is no escape. A moment, please. Fight. Silence. Yeah, yeah. Be sanctified. Shine down. Time to shine. Settle down! Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. I'm all chittering. Have a seat! Bow your head. Illusion shattered! Inazuma shines eternal! Yeah, yeah. Let the world come alive! Let's begin. Silence! <laughs> Let the mighty be humbled! <laughs> Shine down! A moment, please. <laughs> Bow your head. Now you shall perish! Time to shine. Damage. Trouble. Silence. Be sanctified. No. Okay. This is going bad. I need pyro here. Uh, try again with the same thing, or let me choose. No, should have been that stage. Mm. They really need to reload that much. <laughs> Damn it. This takes too long to kill them. I run off ledge because of that guy and uh, wrestling because of that. Mm. Well, I can't just swap them down like that. Yeah, let's see. I need a second only on my party. I will have order. Late bear. Clouds high. The birds call. <laughs> Solidify! Yeah, yeah. This is where you fall. Illusion shattered! Transfixed! Yeah, yeah. There is no escape! Stabilize! Order guide you. Solidify. Shine down. Wind strike. No, let's take that. First, for the Late bear. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. Everlasting as the moon. Move I will have order. Stabilize. There is no escape. Yes. 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 
Clouds high. The birch. Late bear. Witness my rules. Transfixed. Damage. That's a true many. Damn, I'm trying to kill anything. I didn't got a thousand, two thousand points. I don't think you can kill uh, ruin constructs, whatever. They're called much faster. Let the mighty be humble. Stay cool. Face your guilt. I'll approve you. Can't let the world collide. <laughs> Silence. The tides beckon. Let's nip that in the butt and trap. The mining echo in song. Silence. Hmm. Let the mighty be humble. Bow your head. One with the force. Now. Come on. Settle down. And trap. The tide is now not enough to fill a water wall. Oh, one more. <laughs> Good kill. Oh, my light. Ah, uh, come on, the shoe hard. And uh, my camera is slanted. Damage, it won't stop. Okay, I think you fall again. Mm. Uh, what do I get? Ah, come on, I need those. I think I'll need those. Mm, no, hang on. Those I trade for figurines. And figurines I can get repeated and trade with other people. So maybe I don't need those. Ah, but that sucks. Let's try the other ones. If they are more passable, then I'll try that again. Oh, I hate fungi. They take too long to die. Hmm. Hmm. Later. Trick. Okay, I better have him there. Um, I don't think I really need Chun Li there. So why not? Yeah. Let's get it on. Hi. 
fallen leaves. Adorn my one with the force. Wind strike. You're dead meat. No, nobody hears from well with you. I'll uproot you. Rise. No. Order guide you. As one with wind and cloud, wind strider. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see? Yeah. I hear everything. Stabilize. You asked for it. This is order. Crumble! One with the force! Let's nip that in the butt! Solidify! Look alive! All them leaves! Adorn my- I will have order! Yeah, Stabilize! Let's I'll feel. uproot you! I saw it's like you won, but then the are takes so long to die, and then I don't get any benefit for that. Extra points I should get. There. And now, till this one dies. If I could activate Valor when I won. Yeah, I didn't get a thousand points. Let's nip that in the butt. Can't see? I hate combat paints. Illusion shattered. Time for takeoff. Overruled. Silence. <clears throat> Let the mighty be humble. You can get away. You are not well new This is where you Late bear. Bow your head. Be sanctified. Witness my lies. Shine down. There is no escape. Everlasting as the moon. Late bear. <laughs> Let the mighty be humble. Time for takeoff. Settle down. The tides beckon. Yeah, the second one is much easier than the first one. But the first one was <clears throat> horrible. Let's play. Overrule. Silence. Man. This one seems easier than the previous one. But I kind of don't want to continue. Let's see the last one. Uh huh. Okay, just horrible all around. Ah, uh, if those two recover one health of the other, then that's messed up. Um. It's only here. Only there, then you there. Let's get you two up there. Uh, uh, uh. 
don't know why. And you. Now here's gonna be her and him. Hmm. I think this is more effective. I don't know. second one but that won't be enough yeah I'm gonna see if I can go without those coins 
I don't like comedy banks. Um, let me see what's here. Hmm. Magical bridge photo taken. Play safe figurines. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Still. Um, let's see here. Maybe. Yeah, I gotta build them, but. Mm -mm. I don't get anything there for it. Uh, that was the quest. Why there's a uh, there's new things here that I didn't check. Okay, I think I can get everything here. Oh no, those are for except of police, so maybe I can't get. Yeah, no, those I can't get. Uh, I thought there was some kind of other points I could. Ah oh, no, it's just for figurines. Fabricate seven five times. How much was each figurine? Can you just save me there? Okay. Oh no, Tem teleport me there. Collie wasn't there anymore where she was. And I think I passed over here and Jean and Kaya aren't here anymore. Yeah, but the show was close to where she where I met her. Same price. Notifications remain. Hmm. Okay. All new ones. There are nine slots. Five, six. Let's make five more. <laughs> the glowing one was a special or huh. okay one repeated and I repeated I'm not sure two new ones uh, let's see here display figurines let's um, I want to remove you Let's mm -hmm. place a llama here. Oh, no, no, no. You here. The llama here. And... Why can't they just let me click on stuff? Now, a bird. Another bird, a flower, then a frog, a squirrel, and ah, oh, only two there. Oh. So let's that squirrel, the frog. I don't know why. Let's leave it like that for now. Can I... S there was somewhere I could see all of them, wasn't there? Figure fabrication... Figure exchange... I can give them... Ah, cool. Can they... Ah, you can set a wish list. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay. I'm missing four here. 
I did four. Okay, I started with a single one. How many I have? Five. It's one, two, three. Three places. Okay, let's start with 15 at each place. Got new one, new one, new one. Okay, I think I completed this one. Uh, where? I forgot already where I check here. I think there's somewhere else I can check. Okay, I'm missing just one frog. Uh, here. Ah, that's it. Okay. Uh, uh, same amount on all them. Okay, let's go to the other place and navigate teleport make some wishes there as well I need 75 for the last wish last five uh, 15 wishes same thing to display no matter around here Okay. Let's make five more. Okay, a lot of those already. Okay, but three new ones. Repeat it, new ones. Okay, let's see how. Many. Okay, ah, the detective, a guard staining. Ah, and that's just background. Uh, okay, now the titanium mines. So I was around here, but I didn't really pay attention to the map. Ah, there. Uh, let's see, how do I spend the rest of the points? Uh, is that like a special one? Or is just that has a higher chance of having a new one? Five different ones, six. Seven, eight. That's the same. Nine, maybe I'm not sure. That's the same one was. Uh yeah, that was your phone. Uh uh uh. Uh, fabricate 30 uh, Fabricate 30 Damage that's that's screw up Another one I'm not sure why we want all that many for my house I think I can get all 30 of those without uh, You can use, no I can use, okay but how do I obtain them? Obtain from the event doesn't help me Can I find those on chests because I wasn't really paying attention to that before Hmm. 
Two new ones, I guess. Can I see? Oh, okay, there I can see. Okay, okay. That's thirty. Okay, with 30, I got them all. Uh, no. Ah, no fabrication remaining. Uh, in, ah, okay. No. Whatever. Let's set them here. Let's see. Flower flower, gophers, uh, that, and that. Then This flower is not important, is it? Because this one is the guy that was transformed. How did he turn himself into that? Okay, I guess that's cute. Uh, let's go back to town. This one is a bit hidden, this corner. It should be closer to the main square. Ah, okay, 15, 30. Okay, so then I can do as, much, as many as 30 in total. Okay, I think completed. Okay, got them all. So, a star, blue, uh, the owl from there. Yeah, this is just. Why would I use that? I don't like that one. Ah, uh, those guys stuck. Okay, I guess it'd be mainly you guys. The star in the middle. And the detective, the owl. Yeah, I don't really like that guy up there, but it's just that they were on the top of the building. I can't repeat them. Yeah. Don't know what could be here, but... I don't really want to use the guys stuck on walls. Okay, so let's get back there.
Okay. 14 remaining. What do you think I would have got? And I can't. Ah, oh, now it's just one. Of but it gives remaining three. Yeah. Mm. Two. So I need ten more points. That. Hang on. Didn't I get. Uh. More. No, not that. I want to check. Ah, uh, in this one I don't get more. Okay, so yeah, the ten I'm missing are those two. That sucks. So I have to pass those combat, hard combat events. They were close, but they were tough to get there. I don't have good well equipped party members. Those two. Hmm. This is very part of some other quest. Uh, The flowers. Oh, it's okay. I just prefer the green frog. And here, that. Yep, I need that to complete to get another one. I don't need that. I don't care for it. I'll never use that. But I got a, got two. I got a, three of the other ones. And only two of this one. So I gotta try to get that one. Ah. Yay. Akirara. Okay, this I can get once I'm going around it. What could the children be up to? Uh, can I just click there and you send me directly to Kirara? No. Perfectly fixed should be. Hmm. Never mind. Let them do as they please. So let's suffer. Oh, hang on. I just... Uh, I'm pretty sure I got them all, but I, I didn't confirm here. Okay, I got them all. You should be make 30, but get all of them, so you could trade. Oh my gosh. I think this one would be a bit easier. Okay, good, you pulled them up, so I don't have to think about it. I got close, so if I play a little better, I may be able to get it without having to mess with my party. I would rather have some really tough enemy than have a time battle. Stabilize! Look alive! Gloves off! No, not water. 
Clouds high. The birds come! I will have order. Quake! Run with the forest. I'll uproot you! Wind strike! Gather! Buckle up! Ha! Order guide you! Can't see? Falling leaves. Adorn my knight! You asked for it! Let's nip that in the butt! And shroud! This is order! Stabilize! Look alive! One with the forest. I'll uproot you! Wind strike! Crumble! Clouds high. The birds can't see. Keep up. Gloves off! Order guide you. Gather! Buckle up! And shroud! I hear everything! Stabilize! Damn, they don't... One with the force! They don't give damage. No. Be sanctified. Yahoo! <gasps> Time for takeoff. Settle down. <laughs> Illusion shattered. You are not well you punch you. back. This is where you fall. Bow your head. <laughs> the tides beckon. Think you can get away? Shine down! Set him down! Let the mighty be humble. No, we're close. Do a little time, away. Time for takeoff. Lay the bear. Torn to oblivion. Witness my rise. Overruled. Be sanctified. No, that's worse than far. Bow your head. That's worse than far. Let's try with him. Actually, I may be changing too much between those two. Let's keep him as main DPS here and her as main DPS there. Let's try that. Go! 
gather. Illusion shattered. As one with wind and cloud. Yeah, this that's faster. Transfixed. Solidify. Clouds high. The birds. Shine down. This is order. Quake. Wind strike. Stabilize. Witness my lies. Overrule. As one with wind and cloud. Order guide you. Solidify. Lady Bear. Okay, that's already better than the right? This is where I'm Transfixed! Gather! Illusion shattered! Oh, there's not enough time to get down now. Yeah, but I didn't even get to down that far. So... That's a bonus. Uh, okay, now I have Tainari to distract people. And Shroud! Think you can get away? Burn! Settle down! <clears throat> Let the mighty be humble! One with the force. I'll uproot you. Huh. You are not welcome <clears throat> here. Oh, time for takeoff. Verdict is. <clears throat> and shroud. <clears throat> Bow your head. Let's nip that in the bud. That's close enough. Settle down. Be sanctified. Think you can get away? I hear everything. Burst. Brace yourselves. Bow your head. The times beckon. And shroud. Come on, it's almost out of time. Time for takeoff. Or retribution. One with the force. Silence. Ah, uh, it was better than the previous one, but I guess I got more points the first time around. Yeah. Damage. Mm. But I think it was her that got a bit in the way. I don't think I'll be able to get those. Then they f I'll forever have one last shelf that I won't use in my inventory. There is no escape, Lady Bear. Fallen leaves adorn my night. <laughs> 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 
See the points until I start the party, then I'll be kind of busy to pay attention to the points. No, Bow your head. Yahoo! Time for takeoff. Time for retribution! <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. The tide is beckoned. Think you can do better than that. I'll give up. Yeah, that's easier. I won't get those less coins. Yeah. And yeah, one of those days I'll get back here to clear up the map. The other event I think started yesterday, then we still got some time to complete this one before. Mm, let me just check how many days to go. It's 8 days to go, so that will be... Next. 
Oh, well, yeah, I, I think we'll be next uh, Wednesday. So we got time to clear this map. Can I get Nivea, please? Yeah, I don't think I'll get an idea. I think I'll save some for the next. Oh. Let's make a free wish. Okay, useless. Alright, so I guess I'm done here for today. I'm off.